Hello everyone, praise be to God on this glorious day today, and welcome back to Mandel's Maze Mayhem. We are nearing the end of the game now, we are on world 8, the third to last world, which is levels 36 for 40. This world is called the Sunset Cavern. Now I'm making this prediction again, it's probably going to be the orange caves this time, let's see. Sure enough. We better get swimming and collect all those kelp seeds. I got it in the end, even though I guess that this was going to be the tile set like three different times. Okay. Looks like we've got dogfish and we've got these kelp gates and orange sponges. I kind of expected that the orange sponges would kind of be the gimmick of the world. Oh, no. Hmm, this is going to be a tricky one. Thank goodness that dogfish won't swim around the kelp gate. Except when it opens. What's down here? Okay, we've got a dogfish who's going to come this way. So we gotta do something. Yep, we can swim from that. Okay. Stay away. <laughs> back! Back! Okay, so we're using these sponges as our shields. Interesting, interesting. We got a starfish down there. Why can't I swim up? It will not let me swim up. Are these larger than one tile? Because I've noticed this with the orange sponges. If they won't let me do the things that I want to do. We're gonna lure the dogfish back here and hopefully escape this room. Nope. That is gonna be tough to get through. Hmm. Oh, this is gonna be a tricky one, no doubt about that. Okay. Quack. Oh, no. Why? I do not like this. <laughs> Probably because I don't really understand how to get through this. Okay, cool. In your face. Escaping the dogfish is very tricky. Alright, in here, we got another dogfish. Cool, cool. Why? Okay, it's, it boggles my mind why sometimes you can't swim past those. That dogfish is being a pain in the butt and guarding that sand dog. Shoot, shoot. Oh, thank you, sponge glitches. That is so kind of you. Okay. Darn it. This room is such a pain. This world is gonna be a pain. If I have to use these orange sponges constantly, that dogfish is just blocking my sand. Well, this is gonna be the world of game overs, I'm sure. I never particularly liked the orange sponges in the actual Maze Madness original, but, you know, whatever. What you gonna do? So weird how you can glitch straight through horizontally moving orange sponges. 
I'm not really complaining. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Nope. Yeah, take that. What's the point of making these sponges if you can't ever swim through them? You might as well just put rocks there. I don't really understand that. Maybe to fit in the theme of just orange sponges everywhere. Oh no, I got 20,000 points. I don't want that game over yet. Oh wow, cotton candy everywhere. Hubby! No, 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 no. <laughs> that could have been bad. Hmm. I don't like the dogfish on this level because. There are all these narrow corridors and very little room to maneuver, so you have to use the sponges to block their way, which I know is the intended... That's what you're supposed to do, but it's kind of annoying to do. Again, because of the really narrow passages. Uh -oh. Okay, we get stuff like this. Oh, wait, okay. Yes, that's what I wanted. I wish I could stop the sponge for good. That would be nice. Alright, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it. Fudge! Your dogfish. Okay. That is my only chance of getting that cup. Alright. Oh wait. Well, I could do it either way. Gotta get that kelp seed. I don't care about getting that lion's paw. See, this, this kind of thing, this is highly irritating. Maybe I'm just doing the level wrong, but there's not a whole lot of options for me. Okay. Okay, what the heck? It wouldn't let me move to the left! Bologness. Baloney and bogus at the same time. What the heck? That's not okay, Sam I am. No, nope. stupid sponge! Sometimes it just will not let you turn direction. This isn't the, this isn't Mandel's fault. This is just the game engine being terrible. I could not turn right there even when the gate was open. The sponge was in the way and I couldn't open the freaking gate. I don't really see, okay, other than aesthetic purposes and that they're orange, I don't see any reason to really ever use the orange gates. They're very irritating, especially in this context, where all they're, they're doing is making it take longer to get through. Nope, mm-mm, nope, nope, uh-uh, nope. Bad dog. Get that. Bad dog. All 
Alright. I can breathe a slight sigh of relief now. Right. Remember when I said the dogfish weren't that bad? Well, the dogfish are bad if you have to deal with them in orange kelp gates and uh, orange sponges. Orange sponges are an interesting idea, but they, they're really not that fun to deal with. So this is kind of the double whammy of it's got the orange kelp gates, which I don't like kelp gates, and the orange variant are the worst. And it's also got orange sponges, which I don't really like either. Nope. Nope. Nuh-uh. Dogfish is like, what is going on? That's my line. <laughs> Maybe I can swim through the hill. <sighs> Come on! No! <laughs> Come on! There we go, at last. That room is... Yeah. Don't really care about the prizes in this world. At least not a little thing like a firecracker. Yeah, that's what I want. No, 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 don't close on me. Yeah, this level needs some work. I really hope the rest of the world is not at all like this. Oh, that's... That's really good. I love that. The shark is- or the shark. The dogfish is trapped. Oh, come on! That was open for, like, half of a second. There was, like, one frame I could have used to get for that. Yeah, Mandels, I, I really, really like your level pack. This- I really hope the rest of the world is not like this. Because this level is not fun. I, I don't I don't even particularly care if it's like well designed or not. If it's not fun, it is fun in my mind. Because that is the reason I play video games is to have fun. And again, they blend in nicely with the overall tile set. I do admit that. But holy cow, these gates suck. Not your design decision to make them only open for like a second, but you did put them all over this level, so I can only hope that... Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Yeah, I literally... That was the only way I could have gotten through that. I had to keep re-entering and re-entering the room until the kelp gate just happened to be open at the right time. Otherwise, there was literally no way I could get out of that which is the problem with using the orange sponges. So to give you an idea, folks, I'm almost at the 20-minute mark, and I've only beaten one level. So, yeah. Don't like that one. That's my least favorite level of the pack thus far. Okay. Wow, Grandma Grouper's kelp teeth are everywhere! I still have the bad orange gates, but I don't see any orange sponges, so that's at least an improvement. Okay. See, the purple gates I like. Purple gates I like because they're the absolute opposite of the orange gates. They open frequently and stay open for a long time. Alright. We are in a room filled with sponges. This is, Okay, there's nothing in here. This is a bonus room. So, let's take a look-see. Well, not a bonus room, but this is a treasure room. I should call these treasure rooms. I see that hinge hiding back there. You can't fool me. Alright. So to get through here, I cannot shut that hatch. I need to come from up here. These hatches are blocking my way. 
So what I need to do... Okay, so we've got the whirlpool that takes me here. Interesting. Whirlpool that takes me there. I can push... Huh. Okay. I can push all of these hinges just there. And I can push this rock into the whirlpool. And it will blow up these fish bones. I think that's a fairly solid start. How can I get rid of these fish bones, though? These pebbles are a wall. There's no way to get rid of those pebbles. So I even need to send a... I need to blow up a rock. Looks like we're going to be using the sponges as shield again. Okay. Destroy that one first, first off. There's no reason why these shouldn't be in the wall. Alright. Oh, the pause screen was actually over that hinge. You didn't see that one there. Alright. Well. So here's my mentality. If I, if I push... If I can get a sponge over here... Push this rock here and it will blow up that fish bone. That's the only one I need blowing up. Alright, so the question is which sponge can I get out? None of these because they're all touching walls. That one I will need to either... Hmm. That sponge I think is going to be my best bet? Question mark? No, maybe not. It's hard to tell. Okay, well, here's the thing. Uh, where am I? Okay. Here's the thing. This hinge means I cannot get here from up here. I cannot. I can't get through here. Can't get through here. Can't get through here. The only way I can do this is if I push the hinge up a little bit. So I have to get up through the top. So having done that, that means the only logical thing to do, as of right now, is to push this boulder down here. Now the question is, should I destroy this? No, I should not destroy that sponge. Mmm, well, hmm. Okay, this is getting uh, difficult now because, wait, I can, I could push that sponge over there. But I really need to blow up this sponge. Or that's sponge? No. I need to blow up this. Okay, what does this mean? I keep that sponge there. When I open these hinges, if I can get that stupid rock out of the way. I'm wondering if there's if I should just push this over there. It actually wouldn't be a terrible idea. I don't think. I'm spending way too long trying to get this. But I need to plant. These sponges are useless as far as I can tell, because I can't push them. I can only destroy them. Hmm. That rock is a problem. Because I, ideally I want to push this rock to the left once I open the gate. Have a sponge down here that it will hit so it will blow up the fish bones. Mm -hmm. Do I need two sponges? Because if I destroy this sponge, I can push this to the left, and it will blow up all these, this stuff. I will still have this rock here. Now, the thing is, I don't know if having this rock here will do any good at all. Well, I could use it to blow up that fish bone. I go up here. Oh, okay. I think I see it. 
and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So I do this, just like I thought. Cool, so we do that. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. Um... Now we go up here. These two sponges aren't going to do anything. I didn't want to push that dumb hinge. Oh, come on! That better not have screwed me up. Oh wait, I don't think it did. No, I don't think it did. Okay. Unless I can't push the sponge. Cool. of just ruining the sponge, but this should work now. This is a ridiculously convoluted puzzle. Thank you for giving me the green sponge. Alright. This is absolutely insane. The things, the lengths that I go to to do this. Alright. That was a fantastic puzzle. Holy cow. Also, that was just a ridiculously hard and convoluted puzzle. But this should make the rest of the level kind of a breeze. Thank you for the extra sandwich. Bye! Alright. Oh, I had to speak too soon. All right. Can I pick up anything in this room? I can pick up a starfish in this room. Bye! All right. Um... Okay, interesting. Right, it's gonna be done. I think I'll just leave the blowfish be. Come on, open the gate. Thank you. Oh no, did I run out of my... Oh, I ran out of my worm doodle already. That's a bummer. Okay. I don't think that there's any way... Oh, I see. <laughs> Okay, I do see a way you can permanently screw up this uh, level. You can per permanently screw it up so you cannot get this last kelp seed, but you have to be pretty stupid. What you'd have to do is you'd have to open this gate, destroy the sponge, swim around, and then push this up. If you do that, you will not be able to get the last kelp seed. Oh no! No, this is the 
worst day of the Saturday. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me way too many junkyard dog fishes. Back, back, back. I will drive you back. I'm, I don't want to swim too close because I don't want to get sponged. I don't want to clip through the sponge. That would be bad. All right. Come on, hurry! <laughs> Oh, that was it. That was satisfying. Okay, that level was a lot better than the last level, but mainly because I had the bubble. If I didn't have the bubble, that first room would be super tough. Wario, we are now at the 30 minute mark, and I've only beaten two levels. This is going to be fantastic. Time to get all those Why is there more of the, or the orange stuff? Sunset Cavern sucks. Sorry, Mammals, but this, that, I don't like this. All right. Let's take a look, see, shall we? We need a starfish. We need a spiral shell. We need a sand dollar. Interesting. All right, I'm safe right now. At the beginning, I am safe. That dogfish, well, no, I'm not. I'm only safe as long as that dogfish doesn't get through the gate. But thank you, gates don't open that frequently. That's one of the few situations where it's actually nice. Hi. Hi. Uh, oh, what the what the butts was that? It forced me up and it wouldn't let me turn around. Oh, you son of a gun. Your mother or your father was a gun. Oh, that's a cool rock. No, oh, I did not... My controls are locking up here. That is why I'm dying. It's not because I'm bad. No, oh, you fudger! You fudger! No! You fudgesicle, I hate you. <laughs> I don't hate you. I hate the the, the gimmicks of this. Oh, right, let's try to find it. Okay. Don't know what that voice was about. I apologize. Oh no no. Oh no no. Oh no no. There's a room beneath that dumb angler. No. Oh no, okay, you suck. You suck. Oh, shoot. Um, there's nothing for me to collect in this room. Alright. Um. <laughs> okay, the shot of the anglerfish literally stuck in the orange gate is very good. Um, I don't like this. I don't like this! Oh, you son of a. I'm really glad I'm the only one in my house right now. This level sucks! <laughs> Alright. Oh, hey, it's another treasure room. Okay. I like solving these. There are no enemies. If there were, if you put enemies in this room, th these rooms would really be terrible. Okay. Here we go. We've got more of these bones. we got these bones, bones, bones. There's nothing but bones, bones, bones. Alright, well, first step... Okay, um, I am not pushing this up. I'm pushing that that way. I want to see which way these whirlpools connect. Mm, that could be bad. Oh, shoot. Oh, did I trap myself? I really hope I didn't trap myself. That could be real bad. Well, oh wait, all right, hang on. Unless I'm mistaken, I think we can push this rock just to the left. I don't think that's a bad move, question mark. If I do that, I'll destroy those fish bones. Okay. Okay, big bird. Um, well, actually, if I could blow it up right there, that would be great. Oh, hey, wait a second. Here's an idea. 
You know what? If I if I don't get the treasure, I don't get the treasure. Aha. Uh -huh. That's better. Hmm, that's actually well. That's still flawed. I'm, I'm at the end. Uh -huh. I wonder if that was intended. Because I didn't even use this red rock here. Okay, I was really afraid I'd trap myself. Alright. Let's go mow some guys down. No. What is with this? The sponge is off center. I don't like this at all. Oh, yeah. My bubble and stuff is gonna run out. Open the darn gate. Oh, I really wanted that for the room down below. Getting into that room is just not fun. It's not. Also, I shudder to think what the level 40 is going to be like. Level 40 was my favorite level in the original Maze Madness. But at the rate that this rank is skyrocketing, I don't even... I don't know what's up. Alright. This also just is a long track of backtracking. Darn you, Hatch! Oh, oh, I'll pick up this kelp city. I'm gonna need to do that. At least I got an extra life out of the deal. Okay, cool. Dogfish, I do not have to worry about again in this room. That is nice. The thing about the orange sponges is, it's very easy when you put them down to just have a level that you can permanently screw up. And not even like, you'd ha not even like permanently screw up like, well you could, but you'd have to be really stupid. Like, no. It is entirely possible to just leave the room and because you happen to leave the room at the wrong frame, all of a sudden you now can't beat the level, which I don't. Oh, come on! That stupid gate is the worst! I really want to almost turn on Junior Helper Bubble Bath just for situations like this. Look at that! That was open! That was open for a duration of time that you literally only had one frame to get through it. And if you think it's easy to just swim back and forth up here indefinitely, it's not. I'm going into this room again, just to reset the dumb anglerfish. Clearly that was a mistake. Alright, this room again. Okay, good. Dogfish is now on stupid mode. I appreciate this. No, I'm I don't care enough about the bag of pearls that I'm gonna leave a kelp seed left behind. Like, no, that's not happening. No, you son of a freaking gun! Alright, that was this I don't like this world. I do not like this world at all. We are on um, we still have two levels left. This is Sparta. <laughs> Alright. 
I'm really gonna have to wiggle my fins if we're gonna get all these kelp seeds. Yeah, no, no bed sheet, Freddy Fish. All right, well, you know what? I already know I can't, with one sandwich, I can't bring this one. So just eat a sandwich, and we can have three now. I already have, I don't, uh, to heck with the score. I don't care about no score. I don't even care. I don't know, but I don't care. Alright. Alright, what's in here? What's in here is kelp seeds. This level. Oh, there's a room up there as well. But if I want to get up there, I'm going to have to do some stuff. Um. Well, now. I don't really want to push the rock down because then I can't destroy the fish bones up there, and there's no way to get into that. That thar. Wait, no, oh, wait, what am I saying? Of course there is. It's called getting the spiral shell. You better believe I want that spiral shell. See, the sharks, the sharks I can deal with. The sharks are pretty easy to manipulate. Well, so are the dogfish, though. Honestly, the problem is, if if I have room to maneuver around the sharks... Oh, that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, you. Let's go on a fun joint ride. Cool! <laughs> He's lost. He should try Harry Krishna. Alright. Well, I didn't expect this one episode to take this long. Alright, off to get that spiral shell, because I definitely want to see what's in there. Actually, what's up there might be another required room. I don't know why I was so convinced it's a treasure room. <laughs> hey, did it, huh? <laughs> Alright, now we'll manipulate this sponge head. <laughs> I actually do like this music. It's just, well, the layout of these levels leaves something to be desired. Actually, quite a few things to be desired. Take out the orange gates, please. Oh, yeah, this is another required room. Why was I so convinced that this would be a treasure room? Oh, you suck! Oh, no! I see where that's going. I was hoping for another treasure room. It was not a treasure room. I do like physically assaulting the sharks with the orange sponges. That is fun, but you don't get to do that a whole lot. It only works out because we happen to have a lot of space on this game. Okay, that room's actually not too bad. <laughs> Especially when you can just clip through the sponge and it up. Um, what was that? Okay. Right. I don't really see the purpose of needing the starfish, I say. If that wouldn't let me turn, that'd be terrible. Oh, no. Nah, this sucks. That wasn't even my fault. That was literally just, it didn't line up. And I, I hate it when I die. Oh, no. I have to redo this stupid stinking level again. 
This is gonna be terrible. Alright, you know what? Get out of here. Sponge. Oh! What the frick was that? What? Alright, no. For this level, anyways, I'm turning the freaking bubbles on just to get back to where I was. I, I died twice in a row and neither time was my fault. It was literally just. Fate was stupid. Back in this room again. Hopefully it'll go better this time. If it doesn't, I have a few tricks up my sleeve in the form of infinite bubbles. What the heck? By the way, I died twice in that level even with infinite bubbles because it's just that terrible. Also, because my keyboard it actually wasn't the level's fault. But boy, howdy. Even with the junior helper, I still died three times. It was a combination of my keyboard controls and just, and the level. Like, one time I came out of the exit up there and the shark just was right there and swam into me and I couldn't respond fast enough. Because I wasn't expecting the shark to be literally right outside the door. Anyways, moral of the story, I'm not having fun in this world. Maybe I was a little on, like, level three or two. I have fun for the treasure rooms. The treasure rooms have been a lot of fun to suss out. The rest of the world, though, is not good. If I have to retry try a level <laughs> twice, almost getting to the end every single time, but it's just 
dumb situations. Okay, like that. I I didn't realize the bubbles didn't reflect off of the sponges. That was kind of weird. But also, how the heck are you supposed to do that first room without trapping them in infinite bubbles? It doesn't even seem possible because there's nowhere to lure the sharks so they'll leave you alone. They'll just always be following you. Yeah, please enlighten me how I am supposed to do this without trapping this shark in a bubble. <laughs> I got lucky there in that he happened to go over there, but it's not really something you can plan every time. Alright, you know what? I forget that. There's literally no reason to go through that star gate. I don't even know why it's there. Whatever. Alright, we're at the 52 minute mark and we're on level 40. Wow, so much- I was just gonna plan on recording the rest of this series tonight, but no, I don't think that's happening. I might just do this level and have to do the others later. Alright. I'm at least hopeful for this level. Alright. Oh, that's... that's kind of nice. Magic Scepter's just right there. Interesting. Okay, this is an- oh, I still have infinite bubbles on. You know what? So what? I don't even care. <laughs> I meant to turn it off after the last level, but you know what? Maybe I'll need him. Um, oh, I did not want to click there. Alright, let's see. That shark is on top of the sand dollar. Probably gonna want the sand dollar at some point. I need... Hmm... Interesting. Uh, how am I going to get that worm doodle? That's an interesting question. Well, all right, so I'll wait, I'll wait for you to get it. Actually, there's no need. So, if this leads here, then I know. Okay. If this leads here, then I know. But... Oh, actually, I still know. We push a boulder to the left. The right, oh, we will... Psh, psh, psh. Up here, we got more kelp seeds, and we've got the dogfish. Okay. Uh, this is interesting. Okay. That dogfish is actually being intelligent. Yeah, I'm a cheater. So what? Thank you for that extra sandwich. I'm gonna need that. All right. So now, if I, wait, you know, I'm I'm almost guaranteeing that there's gonna be bubbles here, so I can't turn. But just in case, yeah, that's what I thought. Barking up the wrong tree. Okay, back in this room again. Oh, hey, there's multiple things that activate the scepter. That's interesting. Oh, is this gonna be just like. 
Oh, this is so clever! Oh, this is actually really clever. To get to the bonus to get to the bonus room, you need a worm doodle. That's so cool. And I don't and you can't just start the level with a worm doodle, because by the time you get here, I'm guessing it will have worn off and you won't be able to get there in time. So you actually have to do the boulder puzzle. Oh, that's so clever! Okay. I'm not saying that redeemed the world. It definitely did not redeem the world. The world has so many problems. But that is a very nice touch on the last level. You're gonna be dropped. So we Yeah, infinite bubbles. I don't even care that I use it. Get out of my life. Alright. Then here's the thing. What can I do? I can't do anything here. I need a purple seer in order to do anything. All right, bro. I need a sand doll. Oh, that's right. Bubbles are glitchy. Like that should have hit it, but it didn't because it like it felt the sponge was still on screen. I don't even see how this room would be doable without bubbles. There's no room. There is no room to maneuver around the shirts. Okay, so this whole level's kind of sort of a puzzle just to get to the bonus room. A little bit. <laughs> oh, I know. Okay. Am I correct in assuming that if a shark can just swim left or right as opposed to swimming up, they always go on less than chasing you? That's possible. <laughs> can get you while you're going around the corners even when you're headed. I don't like it. Yeah, go home, Mr. Fancy Car. Alright. I need to push this boulder in. <laughs> Whoa! The boulder just spilled out onto the wall. Take that. Alright. So we have to get this worm doodle. Now we rush to the bonus room. I bet if you got killed by the dogfish, you wouldn't be able to do it. Alright. Also, if you don't leave some kelp seeds in another room, you're also not going to be able to do it. It's really simple. It's a really simple thing just being you need the one girl to do this. Oh, glorious day! No, it was not worth the pain and suffering I had to go through to get those, but you know what? At least I can get a couple of lives back. Ah, small! Small percentage! I've lost like 10 lives in this world at least. Most of them do to do the crap. But enough about me. How are, how are your days going, everybody? Thank you for putting the live back in here. I really hope the last two rooms are a bit better in terms of this design. It was fun. Even if they're slightly worse design, if they're fun, then good. That's what these levels should attain. I would should strive for. If they're if they're fun, then you've done. Mm. Yeah, 
Oh, yeah. Running into these little squirmy worm guys and getting points. This is exactly the medication I need to get through the anxiety that was Sunset Cavern. Ironically, this was probably one of the easier bonus rooms to reach. Because the level's basically equally hard, regardless of if you're trying to get to the bonus room. The hard parts of this level weren't really so much trying to get to the bonus room, it was just getting all the kelp seeds. The first room was a pain. The second room is a huge pain. It's just a long corridor filled with sharks. Oh, this room also kind of sucks. But at least you have the courtesy of giving me that so I can weave around. That's... Yeah, I don't think the sharks will ever swim up if they have a chance to swim left or right. Unless they see you. <laughs> oh. My bad. Okay, go this way. I'm sick of you. Not really sure how you are supposed to navigate through this room without bubbles, but okay. We did it. Yeah, I used bubbles. I don't care. This world warranted it. Thanks for watching, everybody. This took over an hour to record, just so people know. Don't like that world. I do not like Sunset Cavern. I feel like that world needs some design changes, just in general. Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody, especially those of you who watched the whole thing. It's not going to be a whole hour in actual time, but after editing, I'll probably cut it down a bit. But the raw footage is over an hour. So yeah, that's kind of the pain I had to go through. I will not, I will try not to use the Junior Helper for the rest of it, but if I wanted to show off the bonus room and all the bonus stuff, there's no way I could have done that without the Junior Helper. And it was just, and a lot of it was literally just there to speed things up, like, it, even if I could have done it, it just would have taken forever. And I don't really want to do that, so... Thanks, Mandals. I am still having fun with this pack, but I really hope the last two worlds are more fun than that one was. Look forward to next world of... I'm not really sure what it's called, actually. I should probably pull that up right now. Next world is called... Frigid Ruins. That's gonna be the Ice Cavern, without a doubt. It's one of the only two tile sets we haven't seen. And then the last world, as I'm almost gonna guarantee, is the Bonus Room tile set. So that'll be fun. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.